The whole New England coastline, every little stretch of it is completely different. A lot of the times it's more the elements that get to you quicker. You know, if you have a sunny day out and the sun's beating on your wetsuit, you stay pretty warm. The surfers here are kind of different because everyone's in the same boat, you know? We're all kind of putting up with the same elements. And I think that when you do get the good waves and everyone's just so psyched to be out there and it's just a different feeling in the water, kind of. Everyone's kind of a community. If you just planned a random trip to New England, some random week, you probably wouldn't get surf at all. But if you lived here all winter long and waited out the lulls and the flat spells and waited for that storm, then we actually get world-class waves, but you kind of got to wait. You got to be willing to drop everything and go when it is good, because it'll be world-class for you know half a day or a couple hours, and then it's blown out. When you first hit the water, you definitely get that shock. And first time you go under and your face is exposed, you definitely, there's definitely a bite to it. Cold as far as definitely getting changed after surfing. You know, a lot of the times there'll be snow on the ground and you're standing on ice trying to get out of your wetsuit. It'll be a blizzard and we'll go shovel out the car the next morning and have to go surf. And when you're getting changed, there's a foot of snow that you're getting changed in. Yeah, so you'll drive around all day and searching for waves and it's tough out here because uh, weather changes, the wind changes, the waves change so quick that if you're not on it, then you can miss it. And then when you do have those days where it is good for a while, then you just gotta take advantage and surf all day.